Mm. Uh, this is Sean Serafin's secrets video on Luke Kenner. <laughs> Evaluation presentation. One of the main ways that we developed uh, or challenged forms of conventions was the genre. Uh, the video represents many aspects of the genre. Uh, the main one is performance. Uh, we wanted to utilise his performing uh, in the video. And we wanted a view of the actual artist rather than a stereotype of the genre. So we decided to uh, do it based on his persona. Uh, there's the Goodwin theory that there is a link between lyrics and the visuals. Um, we didn't want this. We wanted rather a visual skin for the track. But we included lip sync because he's not a very well-known artist. It promote the artist more. Mm -hmm. uh, we took inspiration from the Madonna Frozen video. Uh, we wanted to keep the sort of bleak background with the main subject in view. And this uh, goes with the song as well. And his uh, sort of star persona is based on placebos, Brian Molko, uh, his clothing and his dress sense. Uh, we wanted the code convention of loneliness. Um, the clothing and background goes well because it's a dark background and it's just him with a white t-shirt on in the video. It makes him stand out more and makes him look alone. Uh, and that goes with the, with the lighting as well, having him as the main point of view. From audience feedback, many people thought it was received really well. Uh, the part of the video I liked the least was the location, and if we did it again, we'd probably change it and have it more of the sort of the Donna Frozen mm -hmm. location. The part most liked was the editing. We wanted to keep fast cut editing to go with the music and the, uh, the artist. And people thought the video would be most likely viewed on YouTube and digital music channels, which is a way of promoting the song. And most people thought it compared really well with professional videos, which is good for us. Uh, the main spot in text for this video is the DVD Digipack. I wanted to keep a consistent house style throughout all the projects, with the position of the artist being him as the main uh, point of view, uh, having him always on the screen as well to emphasise his, uh, to boost his publicity. And the dress sense, the uh, dark, the like, bright clothing on the dark background makes him stand out more. And the colour scheme, we kept it quite dark with quite contrasting colours to make him stand out more. And it goes with the lonely theme because he's the, main, the only person in the shot mm -hmm. on a dark background. Uh, the different media technologies are used. The internet was a main one, using YouTube to research other videos. Uh, social networking, Facebook and MySpace and Ning to research the artist and then communicate ideas and for the project and the Ning for the portfolio. Uh, they're mainly web 2.0 sites which help. So if I see what other people have entered, it's easier for me to design something everyone will like. And email to communicate. And SurveyMonkey we used uh, a couple of times to get audience feedback and so we could do more research. The software we used was PowerPoint, uh, obviously with this uh, presentation and other presentations to do with the research and planning. Uh, Adobe Premiere Pro, the editing suite we used, which we used quite a lot of, spent a lot of time on that, and Photoshop to design the digipack and various other things for the project. And also Media Player so we could listen to the track uh, and put it with the visuals, and Microsoft Word for typing out research and stuff. Uh, the hardware we used, we used mobile phones for texting and phoning to sort of help uh, manage the project. Uh, the HD camera we used for all the filming and for the test footage. Uh, camera tripod for the camera. 
and green screen. The first video we shot, we tried to do on green screen, but there was something wrong with the camera setup, or we weren't that experienced, so it didn't come out very well. So we Have decided, you got that? We've still got the footage, yeah. But Are not, you going to upload it on? Yeah. 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 And what would I do differently? If I had a chance, I'd change the location and have it more as the Madonna Frozen video, I'd rather have like a bleak out, uh, out back and just the main person there so it goes with the song a bit more. Uh, we decided we had long exposure shots for the first video, which would be up on the Ning, uh, and I'd want to put more of them in because it made the, look, the video look really good if we could perfect the green screen. And I'd like to use more After Effects to make the video more professional and more impressive and manage the time better so, we'd, so we've got more of a, a schedule rather than rushing at the end when we had deadlines and stuff. And if I did more research, uh, it make it so that I could design a video that more people would enjoy. So if it's a more popular video, if I know what people like. Uh, and that's the end of the presentation. Well done, thank you. Have you got um, your DigiPack? No, I don't. It's on the, the one on the home computer that I oh. can get onto. Never mind. Okay, well done. Thanks, Luke.